Now in this question we have to choose the correct statement. So first statement no C receptors respond to changes in pressure that is wrong because no C receptors are for pain. Meesner's corpuscle are present in the skin and they are tactile receptors while here it is thermoreceptors. So this is also wrong. Then in the fourth choice receptors do not produce graded potentials they do produce graded as well as action potentials so this statement is also wrong. The only correct statement is this third one that is photoreceptors in the human eye are depolarized and when we say depolarized that means the sodium channels are open and sodium is continuously entering into the cell and this is what is happening in the rods and cones. And in this case when light falls on rhodopsin, so we can take it this way that light stimulates rhodopsin and this rhodopsin in turn stimulates another protein which is a G protein present within the rods, so stimulates a G protein transducin and this transducin in turn activates an enzyme activates an enzyme PDE that is phosphodiesterase and this enzyme in turn once it is activated it converts cyclic GMP into non cyclic GMP. And once this conversion occurs, this causes the closure of sodium channels. Closure of sodium channels. And once these sodium channels are closed, but the sodium potassium pump is continuously working, it is pumping out sodium. So, as a result, the cell, the photoreceptor cell, is getting hyperpolarized. That means it is becoming more negative on the inside. So, this is the correct statement here that is our option number 3 and that is the correct answer. So, let us move on to the next question 150. One fiftieth question, Graves disease is caused due to, now Graves disease is due to hyperthyroidism. So, this is a direct question hyper secretion of thyroid gland. So, there is excessive secretion of thyroxine and it is a autoimmune disorder where there are antibodies formed which are mimicking TSH. So, as a result thyroid is continuously stimulated and there is more and more secretion of thyroxine. So, here our answer is option 2 that is the correct answer. And the next question 151, the iron responsible for unmasking the active sites of myosin during the muscle contraction. Now in this case we know that there is the actin sites are masked by tropomyosin which in turn is attached to troponin. So during muscle contraction there is first of all release of calcium ions from the smooth endoplasmic reticulum which bind with troponin and that causes a conformational change shifting the tropomyosin and the actin sites are unmasked. So here the calcium ions are the ones which are responsible and so our answer is option 1. So let us move on to the next question 152. Now 152, the blood cells whose reduction in the number can cause clotting disorder and there is excessive bleeding. So this is a direct question, we know that the blood clotting is a function of the platelets or the thrombocytes. So here we have the direct answer that is thrombocytes option number 4. So let us move on to the next question 153, the peptide hormone which acts ma mainly on hepatocytes that is liver cells, adipocytes, fat cells 
and enhances cellular glucose uptake and utilization. So as a result, the blood glucose level will decrease. So the hypoglycemic hormone here is insulin and that is our answer here, option number one. Next, 154. 